Always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Good morning, West Michigan. It is 516 now on this Tuesday morning, and it is going to be a terrific Tuesday. Looking at over downtown Grand Rapids, a tranquil morning as well. Uh, taking it to Holland, Lake Makatawa. Boy, a, just a beautifully peaceful way to start the day. Temperatures are cool out there. If you're heading out this morning, first thing you'll want a jacket or sweatshirt as temps have slipped down into the 40s and low 50s. On our way to highs this afternoon in the low 80s. We do have red flags flying at the Lake Michigan beaches from Grand Haven to the north today. And along with the red flags, we'll also have that small craft advisory continuing for the near shore waters. Chance of storms arriving later this evening through early tomorrow, along with a cool front that will try to press through, sort of in name only. It's going to come back to the north quickly in the form of a warm front. And that's going to boost those temperatures into the mid 80s tomorrow. 90 with the heat and the humidity surging for Thursday and into the early part of the day Friday. Friday, we'll see a chance of some showers and storms rolling through. And that's then it's back to the dry weather as we head into the holiday weekend for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday with another shot at some rain moving in by Tuesday of next week. And we definitely need the rain. Boy, I'll tell you, we've had four one hundredths of an inch of rain in the last 11 days. So far this month of June, well less than an inch of rain that's running more than two and a half inches below average. Not an official drought yet, but we are quite dry, and that's something to keep in mind, especially for those of you planning to do camping over the holiday weekend, and certainly if you're planning any of those. Uh, backyard or neighborhood fireworks displays. Be really, really careful because that uh, vegetation is very dry. Overall, we've got an area of high pressure which is going to move out of the way, allowing this front to work through. By 11 o'clock this evening, a few showers and thunder showers from I-96 off to the north, and then by daybreak tomorrow, those will be pressing east and southeastward, so not really many rain chances for us. This warm front lifts back to the north. That opens the door for the heat and the humidity to return as we head through the day uh, Wednesday and certainly into the day on Thursday. Thursday as well. The uh, lakeshore with a southwesterly wind, those beaches that are south of the southern facing piers and breakwaters will be particularly uh, likely to see some uh, rip currents and structural currents developing, especially those beaches from just north of Grand Haven up toward uh, Muskegon and Ludington, Manistee. And you can see we've got definitely got some great looking weather building in for the upcoming holiday weekend. So, Tom Helen, how are drivers doing this morning? Right now, things are looking pretty good out there across area roadways. Want to keep you informed on some of the ongoing construction projects, especially if you are planning to head uh, towards the lakeshore at all for the holiday weekend. There are some projects that you will need to know about, uh, including the fact that both the ramps to westbound and eastbound I-196 are closed while traveling along eastbound Byron Road. So if you're coming from Holland State Park, coming home to the Grand Rapids area, uh, you'll need to know that because that will impact your uh, ability to get on the freeway there. There's also lane closures and traffic shifts along uh, I-196 between Byron Road and 32nd Avenue in Hudsonville. So generally that does cause some slow uh, traffic as a result. Taking a look right now at the freeways heading into and around downtown Grand Rapids. If you're getting right ahead at the door, right now we do remain crash-free. I'll have another update for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Down in